This is the Xbox full screen experience that is now available on all Windows based handhelds and someday will be the main way you experience Xbox on future hardware. This is Microsoft's attempt to unify the Windows experience with the gaming experience and so far it's having better than anticipated results. The ROG Xbox Ally X launched with this by default and demand has exceeded expectations as ASUS ramps up production to ship more units ahead of the holiday rush. The full screen experience is now available for Windows 11 PC insiders and while I would love for it to have come to Xbox Series X and S, this is just a simulation of how I imagine Xbox and Microsoft are hoping it will work when they're ready to bring it to future devices. While PlayStation and Nintendo have mostly walled off their gaming gardens, Microsoft has made it clear that their future plans are focused around accessibility. They've already ported most of their former exclusives to PlayStation with tentpole releases like Gears of War E-Day and the anticipated Halo campaign Evolved, a remake of the first Halo arriving on PlayStation, PC, and Xbox on day one. The Xbox full screen experience has a long way to go, however. It works well enough on the ROG Xbox Ally X, and even this Windows 11 preview is pretty neat to see with my setup here. But at least on Windows 11, there's a lot to be worked out. Menus will pop up that you need a mouse to click, inputs will default to the wrong device, forcing you to make tweaks back at the PC, and even the Xbox app itself is still having issues properly displaying box art from their own store and partner stores highlighted on the homepage. But all that said, I do believe there's an audience for this. Bazite has exploded in popularity for enthusiasts who've begun building PCs to run games exclusively on their televisions. And Valve has been eating into Xbox's profit margin with Steam and the future Steam machine that has everyone talking about what this could mean for the console market. Steam Machine is a powerful gaming PC in a small but mighty package. If Xbox can pull it off, they stand to garner interest from the PC enthusiast, the tinkerer who likes to install a few operating systems, and even the console gamer who's tired of being in a walled garden and would instead like to play whatever they want all in one place. Of course, here's hoping Nintendo comes around too. But Xbox has already come around to the idea in a big way with the joint venture on a handheld, reaffirmations that they will stay focused on the console gamer and hardware just this month with an interview Sarah Bond had. Uh, hardware is absolutely core to everything that we do at Xbox because we know that our most valuable players, the people who love Xbox, love the hardware experience. And so that is why we are working on our next generation hardware. It's going to be a powerful experience and one that also enables people to take their library with them. And of course, there's still a big push to get gamers playing wherever gamers may be. But can they pull it off? That's the one part that remains to be seen. A huge shout out to every member who's backed my independent venture and my top supporters, Christopher Freddy, Filaroni and Aries EMS. Want to see more? Be sure to check out my preview of the ROG Xbox Ally X, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now, everybody.